This is the lipid bilayer membrane. This is a receptor to which a G protein attaches. It is a serpentine kind of receptor with seven ascending and descending parts. This one is a G protein, a heterotrimeric protein with three different subunits, alpha, beta and gamma subunits. The smaller ones shown with yellow and purple color are the beta and the gamma subunits and the larger one shown with green color is the alpha subunit. The alpha subunit has a guanine diphosphate molecule attached to it in its inactivated form. This is an adenylate cyclase enzyme which is also known as adenylate cyclase enzyme or adenyl cyclase enzyme. The function of this enzyme is that it converts ATP to cyclic AMP. And now here comes the hormone. In this case it is the glucagon hormone which attaches to the receptor. This causes the activation of the G protein. Now after the activation of G protein, the alpha subunit converts its guanine diphosphate into guanine triphosphate. Alpha subunit now gets detached from the G protein and goes towards the adenylate cyclase to activate it. The adenylate cyclase then starts producing cyclic AMP from ATP. This cyclic AMP acts as a second messenger And now here comes the protein kinase A, which is an enzyme which phosphorylizes the other enzymes, thereby starting their activity. Now cyclic AMP starts the specific function of the cell by activating the protein kinase A. In this case of glucagon, protein kinase A causes the conversion of glycogen to glucose.